Hello guys, welcome back to another election prediction. This time we have Jay Inslee, Governor of Washington State, versus former President Donald Trump. And uh, Jay Inslee is a bit of a progressive. He's sort of like a younger Bernie, but not as left. <clears throat> but he's still a progressive overall. Like, I think he's more closely aligned with Elizabeth Warren, honestly, like, in political views. So, uh, I think he'd be a pretty decent candidate. He's still young. Like, he's not old as, like, most progressives are, so he's not ancient. So he has that going for him. So let's get into this prediction. So Iowa and Ohio, because as a progressive, I think he would have some decent populist appeals in both of these states, but he'll still lose them by about 8 to 9 points, I would say. He'll bring it down under 10% at least. So he has that. Um, stood Texas, I mean, a progressive can't get it down to lean unless they, like, live in the state, or they're from the state. <clears throat> so it's most likely going to be a likely state in a scenario against Jay Inslee. Florida, I mean, he's a bit younger than Biden, so he has that going for him, but still, it's Trump's home state, and I think Trump's going to do extremely well in the state of Florida. And Democrats may not want to focus a lot of energy here, so that's why it would probably go likely in this scenario. North Carolina, however, it'll be a three to four point victory for Donald Trump. Won't be likely, just because if you're running someone as a clean slate Democrat against Trump and he's not that unpopular, he's not going to do super well in a lot of these swing states. He'll still carry North Carolina, though that's fairly conservative. It leans conservatives as a state. Colorado, it'll probably be solidly Democratic. I mean, New Mexico as well. Mm, yeah, I would say it's solidly Democratic. It's just over 10% victory in both these areas. I think it'd do decent with the progressive voters here and get a lot of them to turn out for him. In Virginia, however, it'll be an 8 to 9 point victory for Jay Inslee. It'll go down below 10% just because Republicans are doing a bit better in like the national thing, the national wave they're getting. They're appealing to more uh, independent voters, so they'll surely get some more over here in this state. Plus, they fit, flipped the governorship in uh, 2021. <clears throat> so the state of Nevada, it, Bernie did extremely well with progressive voters and Latino voters in the state in the caucus. Plus, Jay Inslee is from the West. He's from Washington, so he had a bit of a home region advantage, I would argue. So let's go to the next few states. Uh, actually, let's top, tap off Arizona. Arizona will probably be tilt Republican in this scenario. Even though Jan Z's from the West, it still won't be enough to flip this area. New Hampshire, you'll probably carry it by a lean margin. Maine, about a likely. Maine's second, probably also go by a likely margin. So we've got five more states left here. The Rust Bolt states in Georgia. Georgia... Yeah, progressive voters don't really do the best in this state. I don't think Jay Inslee will do extremely well here with African American voters, which will means they'll probably lose that area by about 1.5% or 2%. Nebraska's second, however. I think he'll narrowly carry it. Even though he's progressive, it's going to be pretty hard for him to win it, but I think he'll narrowly hold on to it. So we got a few more areas left here. Minnesota, it's a traditionally Democratic state, so it'll largely... Stay with the Democrats in this scenario. However, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania will doom Jay Inslee in the election. However, he'll narrowly hold Michigan in this election prediction. So, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.